dass ich gekriegt habe. Today we're with free walking tours in Cape Town, doing a historical tour of the inner city with Peter over there. They didn't have a television set at that time, so that's why they made nine children. This is definitely a tour to check out if you want to get the sort of inner city history of Cape Town and see some amazing sights, good architecture and feel the culture of Cape Town along the way. Today's review video is going to be about Lille. It's in France. Ironically, I'm in Cape Town and the mayor of Cape Town is called Patricia de Lille. Today we're looking at a video um, that is about touring the inner side of the city, seeing sort of the sightseeing aspects of the city. Right now I'm in the company's gardens, which is basically the central park of Cape Town. Let's go have a quiet seat and talk about this video. Oh. I got friends. What's up? Something that sticks out in this particular travel video straight away and unfortunately it's not a great thing and that is that there is sort of a warp stabilization effect on some of the shots. Now this comes from when you're trying to get stable shots using a smartphone. Unfortunately some phones have built-in stabilization which creates this and other times it's because you try to do it in post in your editing program. Whether it's the one or the other it doesn't matter. If you see this warping sort of in the shot it's not very um, pretty to look at and it kind of throws out the quality of the video which is sad because the shots behind that warping are actually beautiful. So something to consider is the stabilization of a video. To get rid of that all you need to do is make sure that you take a, a moment to concentrate on getting a stable shot when you're moving the camera. That is the only time you're going to see the warp stabilization in effect. And so basically when you're setting up to do a slight sort of moving forward shot all you have to do is bend your knees slightly and walk as if you're sort of like hunched up so that your knees take off the shock and that will already dramatically increase the, the, the shakiness. Um, my suggestion is if it's going to cause that warp in it, rather leave it out, rather leave it raw and, sh and slightly sort of shaky as the original because it feels authentic and real as opposed to um, fake edited to try and improve it. Um, it just detracts from the video ever so slightly. Many of the videos that I've done exclusively on a smartphone have this as well and it's something you want to try and avoid. Another small tip to improve this video that uh, stuck out for me was an effect that they used in editing which is to sort of black out and then as the beat kicks in come back to the next shot. It's, it's, a, it's a cool effect that you can use but um, the way it was used in this video it felt like there was actually a gap in the footage so it went like oh something was wrong there like there was an error. The way to correct this is to let it fade out before you knock it back in. If you just knock out and knock in like it is in this video, um, it feels too abrupt and like, like there's a mistake in it. So definitely something to use, a uh, cool effect, but um, just make sure it fades out softly before it jumps back in. So as usual, to match the video that we're reviewing, we're going to do a little bit of a city tour ourselves. Today I've joined up with Cape Town free walking tours to do a walking tour of the city um, and capture a video of my experience of that tour. And 
one thing that I can advise is that when you're doing these sightseeing tours, try and get as many close-ups as possible. I've said this in many other of my tip videos before, add in those close-ups. We generally, with sightseeing videos, always get the buildings and the wide panoramics, which you have to have, of course. But, you know, throw in a couple of street signs, uh, a couple of sort of feet walking shots, a couple of close-ups of the walls, graffitis, um, and it just changes the, the rhythm and the dynamic and the feel of the video as opposed to just the wide shots all the way through. Those are my tips for some city sightseeing videos. You're watching TravelVids.tv. My name is Dean Parman and I'll see you in the next one soon. Oh,